Now, if I wanted to post to one of these accounts, I can go over to the create section. I could write a clever post and I can even drag and drop content in. Let's go ahead and publish this to both LinkedIn as well as Twitter. What's up everybody, it's Dave from Profitable Tools. I hope you are doing well. Today we are looking at a social media management or a scheduling platform called Publer. Let's go ahead and get logged in, shall we? All right, so right out of the gates, here is what the user interface looks like. I will say that the interface is actually fairly intuitive once you get past the green color. I'm gonna just go ahead and bash them right away. This big green distracting dashboard, I do not care for. I really wish companies would learn to keep the colors more subdued when they're not buttons, they're not trying to call my attention. I'm very sensitive to the bright colors, I guess. Maybe it doesn't bother anyone else. Let me show you around the interface a little bit. Now, I've already got some accounts connected up here, but they're inside of a different team. Now, Teams are kind of like workspaces. So let me go ahead and switch teams. From the drop down menu, I'm gonna go down to switch team and I'm gonna go over here to this one called DS Personal. I'll hit use. All right, now I've switched over to that team and I can go back to my accounts. And you can see I have my LinkedIn account and my Twitter account connected right here. Now, if I wanted to post to one of these accounts, I can go over to the create section. I could write a clever post and I can even drag and drop content in. Let's go ahead and publish this to both LinkedIn as well as Twitter. Now I have some media options here. I can add a watermark and I can choose to do it on each platform independently. So let's say for LinkedIn, I'm gonna create a new watermark here. Let's go ahead and add the Profitable Tools logo. I can choose where I wanna put it. Let's go ahead and leave it in the lower right hand corner. I can maybe add some opacity to it so it blends in a little bit more. Let's make this my default watermark and I'll call it Profitable Tools. We'll hit create. All right, let's go back to our post. Back under media options, I can go ahead and choose my watermark. It's important to know that these watermarks are account specific. So while this is available in my LinkedIn account, it's not available in my Twitter account. Each account has its own individual settings panel where you can set up a posting schedule, the watermarks that you want to apply to that account. You can have individual signatures. So this could be useful if you're using things like hashtags. We also have some URLs URL settings, so you can integrate with Bitly or Rebrandly. Sorry, no Pixel Me or Switchy quite yet, but there is the ability to turn on UTM parameters right here just by switching this little Google Analytics uh, switch box, and then you can add the UTM parameters so you can at least keep track of where the data is coming from or where the clicks are coming from. Under the short code section, you can make your own personalization tags. This is essentially what you see in most email marketing applications, but here they're completely customizable. Let's go under new short code. I can type something like, email and then the value being my email address and we'll hit save. Now let's go back to that post we were working on. And if I wanted to insert my email address in that post, I could simply go ahead and do the curly bracket twice choose the email short code. And then when this actually posts, it wouldn't post with these curly brackets. It would post with my email address, which I don't want to post it on social media, but the option is there if you do. We can tag our location in our post. I think that's an interesting feature you don't see on every social media platform. Here's that signature we talked about. You can set that up on an account by account basis. We can turn on auto sharing, which is really interesting. I'll show you that in a little bit. We also have the ability to do follow-up comments. So a lot of times on things like Facebook, you'll want to post and then leave a comment with a specific link in it. The idea is that a post that has a link in it, it doesn't get quite as much traction with the Facebook uh, you know, algorithm. Them. I'm not sure how accurate that is these days, but that was certainly what people like to do for quite a while. So you could have a follow-up comment uh, placed right there. That's a unique feature. I know some social media platforms have it, but not a lot of new ones do. So that's great to see. Here's a feature I don't know that I've seen on another social media platform, and that's auto-delete. So if you want to regurgitate your content every three months, every six months, repost the same things, well, maybe it'd be useful for the other ones to self-destruct. So you have the option to do that here under auto-delete. You can choose a delay anywhere here from a few minutes all the way up to 12 months. And the last option over here is a delay between accounts. So if you're gonna post to both LinkedIn and Twitter, you might not want them to go out at the exact same moment because it looks automated. And you know we are automating things, everybody knows we're automating them, but if we wanna make it seem a little bit more organic, we could put a little bit of a delay anywhere from a few minutes, one minute, all the way up to two weeks. Now over here, you can choose which accounts you wanna post to. Right now I have it selected as both LinkedIn 
LinkedIn and Twitter. In fact, I can see that because both of the icons are right over here to the left. But if I wanted to customize each post for individual platforms, that's what this icon is for right here. If I click this, it kind of splits things off into their own separate posts. So you can see this is the LinkedIn post and this is the Twitter post. Twitter doesn't have the email while well, as LinkedIn does. There are some interesting scheduling options. If I click this green button here, we have the option to post manually. So we can choose this and set a day and time that we want our post to go out. We can auto schedule, which means that we're basically going to let the platform decide when to post for us based on our available posting times that we set up in the account setup. We can also recycle content, which is a combination of posting things over and over again in an auto schedule format. So whenever we set a posting schedule, we can have the uh, post go out automatically on a certain predetermined number of times. Let's say I wanted to post three times next week. I don't really care exactly when it is as long as it's within my posting schedule the platform will figure that out for me. Or I could do reoccurring posts, which will happen very specifically, and I will choose the actual times that I want those reoccurring posts to happen. So for example, I could have this post repeat twice per week at 9.07 on Tuesdays and Sundays. Now we can add more than one post from this screen. I can add a post right here, and you can see you could continue to do that. If you have a lot of posts already in CSV format, you can certainly upload them that way as well. Or you can even bulk upload content if you have have a certain location where all of your media already is, you can drag and drop it right here or just enter in the URLs. You can even add videos up to one gigabyte in size. I'm going to switch over to a different team that I've created called Profitable Tools. And let's go ahead and add some accounts here. So right now I'd say that one of the shortfalls of the platform is that it only works with Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Google My Business. It does say that Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube are coming soon as well as uh, this platform, which I'm not familiar with. I believe it is a Russian social network. Uh, so I'm not sure about that one. But the other ones, in fact, they even had Pinterest working uh, for a moment. And then apparently their API access ran out because Pinterest is redoing things. That happens a lot with social media scheduling tools. The APIs change. You have to reconnect accounts. But only having four uh, platforms available right now is a little bit limiting. However, the integrations are working really well so far. So I'm going to show you how I can connect a uh, Facebook group right now. Let's go over to Facebook. Go to groups. Now I have to log into Facebook and then it pulls in all of the groups that I'm currently an administrator of. Let's go ahead and add this group right here and we can go back to our accounts. So there is my Facebook group. I can go ahead and create a post for that Facebook group. So we can post directly to the Facebook group without having to log into Facebook at all really, which has a lot of benefits because Facebook is very distracting. All right, let me connect one more Facebook page here. All right, let's go to Facebook page. This time I'm gonna do the profitable tools page and let's go back to accounts. All right, so now I've got both the Profitable Tools group as well as the page connected. Now, if I go to create a post, I think there's a really interesting feature. Let's say I choose to post to the Facebook group. I can automatically follow up with an auto share. So what this is, is it'll allow me to have something that's posted in one page or one platform and then automatically reshare it from another account. So this is a great way to kind of, if you want to distribute information across multiple brands that you manage, uh, you'd be able to do that all automated in a scheduled format. So you don't have to wait till, oh, that post went out. I was gonna go share that on my other pages. You get the idea. This is gonna save you a ton of time. I think they've got some really nicely thought out social media scheduling uh, features built in here. Finally, they do have an analytics platform, but I've found it not to have a whole heck of a lot of information. So I've got a, a pretty active Facebook group here and it's not giving me any data at all. Now, upon doing a very small amount of research, it turns out that I think their analytics platform is pretty new and is still being developed. So definitely don't get this tool if you're looking for the best social media analytics. As far as a scheduling platform goes, I'm actually rather impressed. It's very full featured. And if they were able to get direct posting to Instagram added, well, that would definitely be interesting. So what's going on? Why don't they have direct posting to Instagram? Well, that's kind of an Instagram issue. So they were very, very particular about which companies they partnered with early on. They've got a few partners. Hootsuite, Buffer, those are the two main ones. And then everyone else just kind of got shut out. Now, the rumor is that they will open the things back up and add some more partners in the future. But until then, we're going to have to deal with posting via apps, or in this case, not using social media posting via that platform at all. So just keep that in mind. It only works on four platforms right now and definitely only invest in a tool that does what you need at the moment. Overall, if Publer would consider a name change, 
downplaying the use of that bright lime green color, or at least mellowing it out a bit, and maybe getting rid of some of the comic book superheroes that I see all over the UI, I'd be really, really impressed with it. Using it is actually very simple, clean, and easy. That's not usually what you find from some of these smaller players in social media scheduling. I think the big names, they charge for it. They've got a great UI and, and their platforms are very expensive. So when you're looking at a newer platform, really that's all you're trying to get is the similar service for a smaller price tag. Overall, Publer's not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.3 out of 10. If you want to grab your copy of Publer, the link will be down below and that'll be the referral link for this channel. If you have any questions, make sure you head over to the Facebook group. We're always welcoming new members. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.